What is going on YouTube? Hit him back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we'll be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as Chainlink to BTC. That will be the new altcoin for review for this week. Shout out to Kaluma on my Patreon for recommending this coin for review. That's the coin that we will be reviewing in today's and the rest of this week's episodes. Um, otherwise, guys, we will be going a little bit more in depth, obviously the coin market cap, but more so on this wild market trend that we've been uh, watching. I know I've been seeing a lot of posts on Patreon on as well as the market as to what's going on and on my youtube as to where is this market going what prices are we going to see and i really do want to touch upon what my personal opinion is in terms of where we could see these markets headed uh, i can't really tell you when to buy and sell but i can help you figure out by uh, figure out where the market's going by giving you my opinion on what the market has in store. Otherwise, guys, that's gonna sum up to, uh, the you know intro. Make sure you're subscribed, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up. Let's jump right into today's episode. So guys, before we dive into the coin market cap, like I said in my previous video yesterday, I believe, hopefully it focuses. Uh, if not, oh well. But as you guys know, this is the Ledger Nano X, brand new by Ledger, and I will be giving this away to one of you guys if you are lucky. Uh, very easy. The last person did not actually respond back, which means it is still up for grabs. I made the video yesterday saying you guys can enter it, and that is the same thing going on today. I think I'm going to give it another day or two before I pick a winner. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you are subscribed, and definitely make sure to comment down below down below, make sure to comment that you are interested in this Ledger Nano X, comment subscribed and comment Ledger Nano X in the comment box down below. Make sure you are subscribed though, because I will be checking to make sure you are. And if you're not, you will not be the one getting it. But um, that's gonna be given away very, very, very soon. So definitely make sure to take be a part of that. But furthermore, let's move on to this current coin market cap. As you guys can see, market cap is 325.6 bill, 24 hour volume is 68.4 bill, and Bitcoin dominance is 59.1%. So dominance is up more so than it was yesterday. 24 hour volume is dipping down, and so is the market cap just by a like a hairline. You can see it in the top 10 cryptos, only three out of the 10 are up. Uh, Tether, which we can't really go by anymore. Tron up 5.5, and Bitcoin up, I believe, 1.3. You can see Tron got knocked, uh, Tron knocked out Cardano for the number 10 spot. It is making some leaps and bounds, but you can see Litecoin is down 3.5 at $135 and Bitcoin was testing $11,000. I think it was actually over $11,000. So absolutely wild. A bunch of stuff we have to talk about as towards where this market could potentially be going. But I do want to just jump into the current chartings right now. I did make a video yesterday in regards to my eToro account. I told you guys that I did make a pretty wild trade in terms of what's the best opportunity within cryptocurrency to, you know, hold short term, hold long term. I say, you know, live in the live in a moment, have both. You know, that's what I recommend. I like to have both. I have a short-term holding and I have a long-term holding. And you can see just within the matter of less than a month, long-term holding without you know crazy analyzing the market proved worthy. It proved that we can make profit off of here. You can see we started this account a couple of weeks ago with $100,000 in the account. And we've really only been trading with $10,000 out of the account, which is you know a decent amount in the market. You know, 100,000 is a little crazy, but 10,000 is about right. We've only been making trades with 10 grand and you can see we profited quite a bit off this $852 within less than a month, buying it at 287 and selling it at 311, holding long term. If we did anticipate that dip, if you guys buy in at a dip, there is ways to recover that. So what's cool in the short term market is even on a bad trade, like I want to recommend and tell you guys about, let's say we did buy Ethereum at a low we expected it to bounce up higher and we didn't. We didn't have time to sell off quick. I like to hold on to it, you know, especially in this bullish market that we've been having, more so than not, we're most likely going to tend to shoot upwards. And that's what's been happening. We actually bought it, it wrote down ever so slightly. And then within the next like two weeks, we shot up even more so and we were able to profit off that. And I'd only uh, do that in a bullish market. You can see we've had previous history of, of major moves to the upside. So it's a clear indication that it's okay to take that risk and you know not only were we dollar cost averaging but hold on for the semi long term and then ride that up and cash out big time at the end of it so that's exactly what we did we profited tenfold on that so that's absolutely awesome but you can see we are on the litecoin charts and you can see litecoin is starting to retrace the markets are starting to retrace 
And it was very interesting. I've seen tons of comments on Facebook, ton on Twitter, ton on my Patreon, ton on YouTube, uh, referring to the fact that Bitcoin breaks bullish. We see Ethereum break bullish and we saw Link break bullish, Chainlink break bullish. The only one that didn't respond uh, positively to the market was Litecoin. Litecoin has a huge resistance up at 140 and we were not able to penetrate through that and we are starting to retrace, which was called for. Um, I know it was quite surprising that we saw all these other cryptos shoot up, but uh, Litecoin is our main focus on the channel. So to see it not re uh, react to that, you know, media does tell us that Litecoin does have a mind of its own and it is following the charts really, really, really well. So we have resistance at 140. We starting to retrace back down. Now now we're most likely looking to hit 126 consolidate further or hit 117 and consolidate further and then immediately start to head up. So we're really looking for a major retracement right now within the market cap, within all the cryptos, including Litecoin. Uh, you can see it, it was retesting overbought and it's starting to pull back down now, which is awesome. So I am anticipating a small retracement down to around 116, 117. And once we retest the top of this uptrend, that's when I'll be buying in. You can see the high-low middle moving averages is coming up very close. So holding on nice support. And we should see a nice pop off of this market and shoot right back up to 140. So if we get a lucky buy at 116, we can, or I can then sell off at 140, indicating quite a bit of profit on the coins, especially if you put in or trade around with, you know, five, six, seven, 10 grand worth of crypto. It's a quite uh, a nice place. So definitely make sure to be, you know, aware and present that in the fact in the matter that we do decide to retrace, it's going to set up a huge buy order. Not only will that push us down to probably closer to the $39, $40 zone on the RSI, but it opens up a clear door or clear window, uh, buying window to be purchasing or I will be purchasing at that time. And then we should see a nice retracement. Now, moving on to the other cryptos, Bitcoin, you know, the big dog, you can see we were in an ascending triangle and ascending wedge. We traded out of that. We broke bullish, which was surprising. We're not really sure as to why. There is really no, I've been looking up tons of current events, news, and other channels, and nobody really has an answer for why we decided to break bullish here. You know, there wasn't really much of a resistance at this level, and then we broke bullish. So it almost seems like the market just had a pump. You know, there was some volume that injected a big whale, uh, decided to buy in, or it had something to do with Libra and the Facebook coin indicating this bullish breakout. And obviously Bitcoin, Ethereum were more affected than Litecoin was, but in the do matter that we did retrace up, I don't expect us to retest the bottom of our support. More so, I do re I do think we're gonna retest the top of our ascending wedge, which is this line right here, as you can see. So I do anticipate a retracement, not only within Litecoin, but in Bitcoin as well, pulling us back down to this uptrend, just merely retesting the top of 10 grand before starting to head up higher. I think we're extremely overbought on the daily and a pullback is definitely needed for this market. Now, moving on to Ethereum, Ethereum looks very similar to Bitcoin. Seeing sideways trading right now the past three days, much retracement. There's a lot of volume and instability at this level. And I want to just scroll back and see if that indicates that we were hitting a resistance or a support. And what's crazy is it, it actually does kind of look like that. You can see right here where I cut this line through, you'll notice that there is a retestment here. Three, four, five, six. So we have, you know, a decent amount. One, two, three, four four, five, and yeah, it's six. Uh, we have a quite a bit of touches here indicating that it is a resistance and you'll notice that is why we're starting to have issues right there. Not only that, we're testing the top of the overbought line. So all the big dogs in crypto are starting to be overbought indicating that retracement is due and it is necessary for these coins. So now all we're doing is just waiting it off, waiting to buy back in at lower levels unless you wanna hold on long term which like I say, is better than over analyzing this market. You know, I do have coins that I am holding long-term in one of these Ledger Nano Xs. So obviously make sure to take part in that giveaway as well, but an anticipate a retracement back down lower. If you're holding on long-term, don't worry about it because we are, you know, headed up regardless uh, for the next couple of months that I think, you know, Litecoin having is coming up soon too. And I do think that's going to be a big indicator on where these coins go as we start to head up. But lastly, I want to check out Chainlink. I know uh, Kaluma was telling me to check out this coin and I want to pay him respect for being a long-term uh, Patreon supporter on Patreon. First link in the description. Basically, he has been giving me some awesome feedback and is a great trader himself. Surprised why he's not making his own YouTube videos. But you can see Chainlink which he has been on for quite some time now, has been heading up. 
for for quite a bit. Now the interesting part within Chainlink is I, it seems like it's fairly new to the exchange. You'll notice that we are looking at it on Binance and it's only been around on Binance to Bitcoin uh, since September of 2017. So there isn't much history we can really go off of. You know, these previous uh, bull highs are really not um, predictable because we don't have previous support and previous resistances to base it off of, but we have to start making them. So because we just had a massive candle and retraced back down here, it proves that this is a uh, resistance band right here. It proves that it's a resistance and that's where we're testing right now. So we are somewhat in a channel. There is also a pretty big uptrend on the weekly, which we can draw in right here, a beautiful uptrend at that. So in, it, it does indicate that we're in some eye of a bull market on Chainlink and we should anticipate anticipate a sideways movement um, until we come to the point of um, you know resistance right here where we have both the bear market and the bull market meet up but as the charts kind of close off it looks like we're gonna head down you know the rest of the market is overbought as well um, which is another indicator and it looks like this is following Bitcoin and ethereum's patterns so it does look like yeah resistance retracement is due if not a retest of the high low MMA a bottom support test right here is definitely called for you know trading at 50 on the RSI does give us potential to move up higher though there's also a smaller uh, daily uptrend right here which I'll leave in it's not necessarily the strongest one there's even one like here very tough. It's hard to go off these daily ones right here, but you can see something along the lines of that is definitely a positive, uh, you know, support for chain link. And it does indicate that we could start to head up, but I really don't think so. I think long term we are looking for that retracement, that small pullback, uh, probably lowering us near oversold. And that will be a great opportunity to be buying in right around here. So let's just watch this through the rest of the week and make an educated decision off that. But thanks again uh, to Kaluma for commenting on my you know, Patreon. Definitely recommend checking that out to get exclusive access to all these charts. Um, but that's gonna sum up today's episode, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, smash that like button. This way I know you guys like the content. Make sure to take place in the Ledger Nano X giveaway. Comment subscribe. If you're not subscribed, make sure to do so, as well as comment Ledger Nano X so I know you wanna partake in the giveaway. But um, otherwise, I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.